Hello and welcome to the Gaia update for Gateway into 2020. We are entering a very powerful time of astrology, so much happening as we move into this incredible portal of the 2020 astrology. So I just wanted to talk it through with you. There's a full list of all these astrological events in the information box below. So it all starts at the full moon on the 12th of December. And this is really intense because it's 1212, right? Because 12th of December. And it also happens at 12, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast of the U.S. Now, there's so much happening in the U.S. right now that's really has a lot to do with the whole world and crazy stuff going on. We all know that um, it's, it's, it's really weird out there. And so I think it's pretty profound that this full moon happens at 12, 12 Eastern time uh, on the 12th. Now, the there's also a total solar eclipse that happens. That's going to be the new moon in Capricorn, and that one happens on Christmas Day. That one also happens at 12, 12 Eastern time, 12, 12 p.m. So we have a lot of energies here, and 12 is... In numerology would add those two together two plus one would be three now three is an energy of creativity and an energy of bringing forces together to create something new and different it's a really good energy going in to this powerful and intense astrology of 2020 now just before that full moon in gemini that happens it happens at 19 degrees 51 minutes so everything right now, I mean, nine, nine is a number of completions, right? And so with the, um, the nine and the one together at 19 degrees adds up to two or 20. And here we are moving into 2020. So the fact that these numbers are lining up is telling us something that there's a lot lining up beyond what we can imagine timelines lining up, energies lining up, the grand plan lining up, <laughs> whatever that might mean, we're not quite sure, but we might want to get ready for it. So it's really interesting because just before this full moon in Gemini on the 12th of December, Venus comes into a conjunction with Saturn. Now we know that Saturn and Pluto are very close, right? They're two degrees apart at this point. At the end of December, they'll be one degree apart. They come into their full conjunction in January. And that's the epic astrology of January 2020. And more about that later. So just before this full moon, the day before, Venus conjuncts Saturn. Then just after, the day after the full moon, Venus conjuncts Pluto. So Venus has been quite a player. Venus was right there when Mercury took a retrograde in Scorpio, right there with Jupiter over the galactic center. And now conjuncting Saturn before the full moon and the day after Pluto. So there's a powerful energy here in this space in between uh, Saturn and Pluto and Venus is dancing there before and after this full moon in Gemini. So um, happening at 12, 12 a.m. Eastern time on the East Coast of the U.S., so just before this full moon, the energy that we're going to be feeling is Jupiter in square to Chiron. Now, Jupiter just had this epic transition over the galactic center, and then at the beginning of December moves into Capricorn. This is the snowball effect of this Capricorn energy, because the reason why 2020 is so epic is because Jupiter is joining Saturn and Pluto and interacting with these planets now, Jupiter brings expansion and uh, new information. It brings luck. It brings new perspective. It brings a wider perspective. And it can bring opportunities. So Jupiter coming into play is kind of like saying, hey, you guys, we can do this. It's intense, but we can do this. And let's get to it, right? And that's the big energy of this gateway into 2020. It's go time. So from the 8th to the 12th is when of December, uh, leading right up to that 
a full moon in Gemini is when Jupiter is in square to Chiron. Now Chiron is at one degree at this point and of Aries. Now Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So one degree Aries is a very potent place. It's like the very beginning, the initiation, a new seed, a new start. And what is Jupiter saying in square to Chiron? A new start out of these old stories of woundedness and into getting down and getting some work done here. Okay, it's because this energy and all this energy in Capricorn, it's intense because it's about breaking down of structures with Pluto there uh, and Saturn at home. It's about authority and rules and laws and things that have been in the way of this. But it's also about manifestation and making our dreams into reality and building a new world. So a very exciting time. And then on the 13th, just the day after this full moon, when Venus is conjunct Pluto, Chiron turns direct. So Jupiter there in square leading up to Chiron turning direct. And then when as Chiron turns direct, that means that it's soon in, um, in the spring of 2020, it will move into new territory and really move into Aries, bringing up all of these issues about our woundedness around whether or not it's okay to be who we really are and stay safe on this planet and exist in our true wholeness. So this is a huge energy of 2020. And then on the day after that, and the 14th of December, Mars makes a trine with Neptune. Now, Mercury made three trines with Neptune for that retrograde in Scorpio in November. And so Mars coming into that trine is saying something here. Mars and Scorpio in trying to Neptune and Mars wants to go. It wants to use the power that we have. And in trying to Neptune, it's saying that it has an energy of like Mercury in trying to Neptune is trying to figure out what's real and trying to figure out some sense of things. And maybe it's a new spiritual perspective. Mars is saying uh, that we need to bust through our delusions. <laughs> you know, so January is a big time for a breakdown of the structures of our life, the structures of our, our financial world, our political world, our structures of our constructs of our psychological mind, the constructs of the mind control and psychological, the larger psychological matrix. So, so much going on as we move into this 2020 energy. Now, at that same time that Mars is in trying to Neptune, Jupiter will be in trying to Uranus. So Jupiter in Capricorn in trying to Uranus in Taurus. So in these earth signs, it's about expanding this light that's trying to come in, this new energy, these new codes, this uh, new enlightenment and ascension, awakening energies, infusing these into the earth, telling us a little bit more about what it is we want to build. Something that's way better, <laughs> you know, something that's new and different. Uranus has this energy of innovation and quirkiness and doing it different than anybody else ever has. And that's this energy of Jupiter in trying to Neptune. I mean, to Uranus, it's like, yeah, let's let's kind of maybe we need to jimmy the lock a little bit and think outside the box in order to get this done. And all of this is preparing us for this powerful time of breaking down and building a new world in 2020. It's important to think about 2020 as perfect vision and like that Mars trying Neptune breaking through our delusions and seeing truly what's going on because we can't really break down and rebuild unless we can see the truth. So very important energy in December preparing us for 2020. Now, then we come into on the 20th of December, the sun comes into a conjunction. It's its conjunction with the galactic center. And we felt the energy with Jupiter and Venus there over the galactic center, some powerful infusion of wider, bigger light and energies, a lot to assimilate, a lot to work with. And this energy is continuing as our personal planets one by one go over this galactic center point. So the sun goes over the galactic center on the 20th. And 
that is our sun is the sun is like our identity who do we think we are so massive upgrade i think coming if you know the sun cl crosses over the galactic center every year at this time but because venus and jupiter just went over it together it's been an activated in a massive way and so that sun galactic center is kind of like time for an upgrade in who you think you are and maybe you've been living a very small sliver of the truth of your essence and it's time to face the music <laughs> and face the music of that bigger part of you the 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 wholeness and completeness the biggest the bigger cosmic part of you that's been kind of floating out there invalidated and now time for that upgrade it's happening now and that's really potent because on the very next day we've got well actually on the 20th there's quite a bit that happens so mercury squares up with neptune and so that's interesting because it had those three trines and so mercury and square to neptune is saying hey yeah i need a new, we need a new spiritual perspective but there's a lot of lies and delusions in the way right and so that's part of the energy because on the 21st is that is the solstice and so these are the energies that are around the solstice this year very potent and powerful uh that mercury square neptune and then venus on that very same day moves into the sign of aquarius so venus is saying hey you guys <laughs> You know, um, Venus, big player, right? Together with Mercury retrograde and then uh, together with Jupiter on the galactic center. And now Venus is the first one to move into the sign of Aquarius and saying, hey, you guys, <laughs> the goddess rises again and I'm leaving you in the dust, right? And so she's bringing us a new perspective, a new energy and activating these higher frequencies and asking us to embody them in a real world way in uh, allowing our in this activation to come into perhaps those wounded or non-deserving parts of ourselves the part of ourselves that it's like oh yeah well maybe there's new energies out there but not for me you know venus says oh yeah it's time it's go time and so then on the 21st is the winter solstice and that's when the sun moves into the sign of capricorn on that day the moon will be in scorpio so that's a really powerful energy hearkening back to that mercury retrograde and maybe bringing some completion energies to what that might have all been about and your new identity and your new upgrade and the sun moving into capricorn is saying okay let's get real with it let's bring it down to earth and then the day after the solstice venus squares uranus and so venus is then saying okay what's in the way of these new energies why don't i think i deserve them why am i in resistance um what do i have self-worth for my new chapter so everything in this gateway to 2020 is a preparation for what's to come and a very important time to sit tight and pay attention just an amazing amount of astrological aspects and what that means aspects are when the the planets are in relationship to each other that's when we feel them the most and then the day after uh, actually a couple of days after the um the solstice mars will be in sextile to pluto and that will be that's kind of saying sextiles okay so just before the solstice it's just kind of like venus with its conjunction with saturn and pluto that happened before and after the full moon in gemini on december 12th S mars sextile saturn the day before the solstice or just before the solstice couple days before and then after sextiles pluto so um uh, mars is ready to go and in sextile that's about creative solutions and uh mars is saying okay let's move this game game on let's do it and so that solstice period of time is the shift into the new energies into 2020 it's when we have to say yes and when we can come you know allowing ourselves to come into deeper trust and out of resistance 
So then we come up into this incredibly powerful total solar eclipse. And guess what? It happens at four degrees Capricorn. So four degrees is about four walls and it's exactly what this capricorn energy is about building something new and different and of course we got to break down the old structure we can't put a band-aid on that stuff and that's what pluto is telling us there close to saturn so on this it, the um like i said this total solar eclipse happens on december 25th so christmas day but it happens um it, it, it actually happens on 12-12 uh, a.m. Or, I mean, 12-12 p.m. on the 25th. Um, so, so actually, it's 12, I'm sorry, 12-12 a.m. So just like the full moon. I'm sorry, I had it wrong because of um, my time zone. But on the east coast of the U.S., the eclipse, the total solar eclipse will happen at 12.12 a.m. on December 26th. So that's basically Christmas night, right? And the day after Christmas is when we're feeling that energy. Four degrees Capricorn, let's build something new. Let's get rid of all of these distortions of the Piscean Age where the Christ mythology got so distorted and so used for the power to control and destroy humanity. And let's get back to the true essence of the Christ impulse and the purity of this pure spiritual energy that wants to be reborn on the planet through us. And so that total solar eclipse is incredibly powerful at four degrees Capricorn. Now it's not too far from the south node. And um, that's an interesting energy because the sun at that point is getting very close to just after that the sun will cross over the south node of the moon. Now the south node of the moon is it's very potent because for the first few months of 2020, the south node is in Capricorn. So that means we're going to have Jupiter and Saturn and Pluto and the south node all together in Capricorn. Now the south node of the moon, the north node of the moon is our future karma. How are we going to get to where we're going? And that's in Cancer right now. The south node of the moon is what's dragging on us from behind, right? So the south node is, is like... Um, in Capricorn is talking about authoritarian structures from the past that are no longer serving us. And so this total solar, the reason why it's a total solar eclipse is because it happens so close to the nodes of the moon. And that's why the planets line up, the sun and the earth and the moon all line up and create that eclipse. So on just after this eclipse, the day after this eclipse, Jupiter conjuncts the sun. Of course, the moon is still kind of close by. So Jupiter will be close to the sun and the moon for this total solar eclipse. It just moved into Capricorn. And there, there we go. Um, and so that happens on the 27th of December. And, um, and so Jupiter is hanging out with the sun and the moon for this total solar eclipse at four degrees Capricorn saying, we got to take the opportunity right now to start building something new and let the old break down. You know, it's like buying an old house and thinking that you're going to fix it up. And then this happened one time in my life. And um, then it was really interesting because it ended up being a little tiny shack that people had built on uh, a few other rooms here and there. There was like hidden doors and all kinds of weird things that had happened over the years. I was like, no, you got to just knock that down and start over. And that's kind of where we are right now. This is this energy you're feeling. It's like we've got to break down what's no longer serving us and uh, move on to a new paradigm. And so that's what these energies are telling us. And then on that same day, Mercury takes its turn going over the galactic center. And so it's Mercury's turn, and it's so powerful after that Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. And so it comes out of Scorpio, moves into Sagittarius in December, 
and then crosses over that galactic center. And this is the shift of perspective we've been working on for the last three months since Mercury started that retrograde in Scorpio. We're not really sure what this all means, but that Mercury crossing over the galactic center is going to show us kind of more like what is this new identity and what is our understanding in our conception of who we really are and where we're going and what's happening and what's going on. So a lot of insight could come in there and kind of things making sense. So much is happening in these bigger, wider energetic energies right now. And that Mercury going over the galactic center is going to cement in um, this new perspective that we've been working on. And maybe a wider and bigger perspective than what we thought might be possible. So um, Saturn and Pluto at the 29th of December will be one degree apart. And that's when it really, really starts. And isn't that interesting? Just there at the very last days of this year of 2019. And we got 2019, 2019. You add up one and nine, it makes two. And two and two is four. Um, and so we've got um, a lot of energy here of moving in, crossing over into a whole new paradigm. Not just that we feel, but we begin to see in our world. Then on the 30th of December, Mercury will make its square with Chiron. And so then we're going to understand and be able to uh, kind of make sense and assimilate these deeper healing that was trying to happen with the Scorpio, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. And in square to Chiron, it's this permission, it's tension, but there's also like pushing through to a permission to live in this new perspective. That yes, you have permission to break out of these chains and to think a different way and to think in a way that's in alignment with that bigger wider truth and then on the last day of the year that's when the sun goes over uh, actually the 30th is when the sun goes over the south node of the moon and, and we'll be feeling that on the 31st as well so new year's day is about the sun our identity who we think we are crossing over those authoritarian structures now what kept you know, the, the Chiron in Aries is like um, not fighting for who you, the truth and the permission to be who you are and survive as who you are. And so what kept you from surviving as who you really are in these past lives? That was authority contracts. And these are all up for review. We've got the sun on the south node at the end of this year is like, it's time for us to break those chains, take back our spiritual autonomy and move forward in a whole new way. It's like a new, what I've seen about 2020 again and again, when as I look at people's birth charts, is it's like a platform coming in. It's like a new, a brand new stage. You got to take us, we've got to take a step up onto it. We've got to be ready for that. We've got to uh, trust it. We've got to build this platform. And that's a lot of what 2020 is about for a lot of people. Some people, the platform's arriving and you got to step up. Some, it's building the platform. But we're all uh, going through an opportunity to take it up a notch <laughs> um, and get real. These earth energies are like, get real. Bring it down to earth. You just take it up a notch, but make it real. Let's get out of the clouds. We've been dreaming about something different, but now it's time to make it happen and manifest it and get out of the way, right? So um, then uh, in January, the beginning of January, Mercury will make its cross, it will cross over the South Node. And that's really powerful because um, that means Mercury is catching up to the Sun, and Mercury and the Sun hadn't been together since before that retrograde in Scorpio. And so then that's when we're really going to be in the new year, the very early part of the new year, assimilating these changes that have happened to us as we move over uh, this threshold and assimilating and making sense of these identity upgrades, who we really are, our new perspective. And um, so that's the energy as we move into January. And then 
on January 4th, Mars moves into Sagittarius. And in February, Mars will cro make its crossing over the galactic center. So this whole galactic center energy is con going to continue through February. In January, that's when we have that amazing conjunction of Saturn and Pluto together. They're going to be together right at the same degree, 22 degrees, and 2 and 2 is 4. 2020, 2 and 2 is 4, and we're building something new and building a new foundation, building a new structure, building that platform, building that stage, building a new world. And so on the 4th is when uh, Mars moves into Sagittarius, and um, then that pummels us right into that January 2020 astrology. And I'll be back with more information about January. Just I wanted you to know about the powerful events that are leading up and what this might be all about as we prepare and ground out and be present for this epic astrology together. So I'll be back with more updates soon. Until then, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.